again with another quick episode of Omni Corner. We're sort of uh, busy running and gunning today, uh, but I did want to excitedly showcase uh, a new uh, edition that uh, DC has put out today. I've only got the one book, Swamp Thing, uh, Alan Moore's Swamp Time. Uh, they did a new, new editions, new printings. They collected them into these wonderfully uh, sort of convenient. Uh, it's a six volume, six volume series, and they were hardbacks and paperbacks, all of the same sort of make and size. And yeah, that was such a, it was a really great way, you know, Alan Moore, just so you knew what you were getting. Um, it was a right, great way to sort of con, uh, collect uh, his entire run, his sort of uh, groundbreaking run on the character. Um, but this week, they're coming out with a, they've, uh, they've come out with a brand new edition of uh, Alan Moore's Saga of Swamp Thing. That is, of course, in true DC fashion, the absolute edition of, yeah, Absolute Swamp Thing by Alan Moore. Volume one. Now they're promising this is going to be one of three volumes, so it looks like we're getting uh, two of the prior uh, printing volumes to every one of these uh, um, absolute editions. Um, I always love the absolute editions. They're really, they're really kind of fancy, really kind of prestigious looking. Uh, they're big, tall, uh, hardback, slip case, um, and yeah, this is sort of where these are the editions where you sort of see DC kind of pour their resources into uh, really appreciating certain works, it's sort of like their own. If anyone buys movies criterion collection that's basically given the criterion collection treatment to whatever thing they're putting in an absolute um and of course this being alan moore swamp thing it's one of the most seminal runs on the character uh, kind of in the fashion of, of daredevil at marvel it, over the years and decades it tends to be this title that a lot of writers will come in and sort of put their mark on the character kind of make their stamp uh in the in the medium in the whatever company they're working at marvel or dc uh, and so you saw a lot of that in the 80s um with various characters like Swamp Thing and eventually uh, Hellblazer, um, where you just kind of have, um, yeah, these sort of creators come on and just do something really new and, and special and interesting and oftentimes darker than what uh, people were used to seeing. Um, this is, of course, around the time that Alan Moore is sort of uh, really charging ahead and sort of revolutionizing what we think of as as uh, the superhero. He sort of uh, starts his... his uh, theme of taking the idea of the superhero and sort of deconstructing it. Deconstructing it, we see it in things like Miracle Man, when we see, you know, how a golden age uh, superhero suddenly forced to wake up in the gritty uh, 80s Britain, um, would, would how that would affect him. Uh, you see it, and of course, even Vendetta, what if you look at, uh, take, give the superhero treatment to someone like a terrorist, a uh, political terrorist, and then of course, his magnum opus, Watchmen. Um, which has got a new show on HBO, which I just watched the first episode of. It's amazing. It's so good. Um, who would have thought that that would be the, the great sequel to Watchmen? We always wanted this sort of modern day look. Um, but we're not talking about Watchmen today. We're talking about Swamp Thing. And this is sort of Alan Moore's diving into the nature of a monster. Um, this was a big deal at the time. He sort of retooled and modernized uh, Swamp Thing's origin story uh, in, a, in a famous story called, uh, I think, I believe it was called Anatomy Lesson. And yeah, uh, from there, just sort of hit the ground running, sort of getting into dark themes, uh, exploration of, you know, the man who became Swamp Thing. Is he still himself? Uh, is he just a monster now? Uh, what is his purpose as this monster? What does he do? Is he, does he, is he not a man anymore? It's, it's, um, it's great, you know, it's Swamp Thing. I love, on the surface, it's one of those things that someone who maybe doesn't know what Swamp Thing is will hear the name Swamp Thing and kind of dismiss it as like, yeah, it's another schlocky monster, this and that. Um, but uh, yeah, you kind of have Alan Moore's tendency to take something, sort of turn it into uh, art, uh, even if it's kind of dark, darker and twisted art. Um, yeah, this is wonderful. Uh, this gives you, uh, it starts you off with Alan Moore's very first uh, Swamp Thing issue in 20, and this go, uh, volume goes all the way up to issue 34, including the annual number two. Um, you also get a brand new afterward from Bissette. Um, uh, and apparently you're getting a fantastic amount of uh, special materials behind the scenes uh, from the creative team probably there's uh, I would imagine there's sketch concept pages and stuff like that in there um, this is yeah the quintessential now currently the quintessential edition of Alan Moore's Swamp Thing uh, it's wonderful it's a purely a celebration of this work um, it's got some really amazing new cover art on the back really gorgeous awesome spine and even though the letters on the spine of the actual book that slides out uh, are shiny and nice um, this one sits at the pretty standard Absolute Edition price of $99.99. Uh, we'll be taking that 15% off. Since it's the only book I'm talking about today, I'm going to go ahead and drop that extra 5%. So you get 15% off of it this week and this week only. Um, we'll see whatever 
comes out next week. Um, yeah, this is great. Um, yeah, come check it out. It's awesome. It's to die for. Ugh. <laughs> See y'all next week. Thank you.